Alpha and Omega with us. And um, we have Pastor Castillo Sr. and Pastor Castillo Jr. And that is, we're going to have Pastor Castillo Jr. is going to bring a word to the congregation. But before that, I want Pastor Castillo Sr. to come up and greet everyone. Come on. Come on, stand to your feet. Come on, give honor to a great man of God. <laughs> I miss you, sir. I love you. I knew this was going to happen. <laughs> How many could praise the Lord? Amen. How many could pr really praise Him? Amen. How many are happy to be here? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. How many could truly praise Him? Amen. Hallelujah. Ooh. I've been dying to come here. Um, this congregation and and um, Alpha and Omega, we are family. Amen. Um, a lot of the members from this congregation, we have actually gotten to know in a personal level, which I believe that that is the real true church of God. Amen. See, we could come here every Sunday to worship the living God, the same God that you and I believe. But outside of these walls, there's something greater, something even more powerful. And you get to know me. That when I'm down, the Bible said that the strong is supposed to pick up the weak. How many understand what I just said? How many really, really understand what I just said? How many really understand what I just said? Come on now. I think I have a church here today. When you're strong, you're walking all holy. And you're feeling the spirit of God. You got money, money in your pocket. You got a good job. You got one of those suits that the pastor's wearing today. High heels. Custom jewelry. And you brag about it. Huh? Everyone, you brag about all the accomplishments that you have in your life, the past, the present, and the coming future. But what happened when we forget when we truly come from? What God has done and continue doing in our lives? Come on. How can you just, come on. I mean, do I have somebody that is with me here today? What happened? We're nobody. We're dust. The Bible said that we are dust and we're going back to the dust. But today, among all the other days, it's a special day. It's a special day because we are in the house of the Lord. By his mercy. Not by our own strength and our own agenda and plans and you decided that on 2012 you just want to serve God greater than what you served it on 2011. I don't think so. The desire might be there, but without his help, without his anointing, without his guidance, you cannot do nothing. Nothing. I cannot do nothing. You know, it's sad to sometimes have gotten to know people that my wife and my family, we have sacrificed. And when I look back, Pastor, I mean, we have done things that I probably would not do it to the same magnitude that I've done it before, but I don't regret it. But it's sad to have had people that you have actually sacrificed according to the word of God and the love and the passion that you have in this path. And today, they don't have nothing to count for. It's heartbreaking. Where you at in the Lord? Five, ten years. Don't look at me. Look at Jesus. 
Don't look at me. Look at Jesus. We're just vessels and instruments. Today might be me. Tomorrow it might be you. To then the next following day, the next year might be somebody else. But what have you done when God called you to do it? Have you made a difference in your family, in your community? That today you find yourself in the predicament? Hey, hello. We are in the middle of a battlefield. That tells me that you were fighting. That you have the sword in your hands. If you got bruises and cuts... And you got scars, hello? That means that you were fighting. How many are with me? If you don't got nothing to count for, then something is not right. Something is not right. You need to be screamed. But if you tell me you got, in, you, need, you got into some stuff and you have lost your house, your job, you might even been departed from the ways of the Lord. There's nothing greater than him. It's all about him. You don't own the path. The path is his. It's his path. You just, you just got to get back on track again and get back into the path. How many are with me? But you see, the carnal mind doesn't understand that. That it's an ongoing battle. I talk to people even when I've been down. And let me tell you something. The anointing, the anointing. And the power and the calling that you have, if you know exactly what I'm talking about, that gift that you have, ain't nobody going to take it away from you. No man, no money, no position, no predicament. Because even when you are in your lowest, you still, you still, how many are with me? You're still even in your lowest. You think the cross is in vain? You think the blood is in vain? That's the precious blood of Jesus. If he put the eyes on you and cleansed you and washed you, still dealing with some issues with you, who is anybody else to say otherwise? How many are with me? <laughs> oh, boy, I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you, Pastor. I'm trying to tell you. Who's anybody else to say otherwise? But, boy, let me tell you something. We are so quick to use this little small member of our body, which is the tongue. How many know the tongue? <laughs> the smallest muscle sister in the body but man we could lit up a whole forest in fire because <clears throat> we don't contain ourselves we don't hold ourselves we say that we have control oh yeah you live a seldom life a very successful lifestyle you you the man you the woman everybody wants to be like you Everybody wants to be like Mike. But let me tell you something. But when, it, when it has to do with that fellow brother right next to you, pick up the phone. Call him. Reach out. Show him that you got that true love, that genuine love of Jesus. Bend yourself. Humble yourself. And I assure you, today and for the rest of your life, that you're going to move up into another level, a higher level. Of anointing and spirituality not just the bible reading not just the knowledge okay because that will kill you if it's not together with the essence of what god has called you to do it's all i'm gonna say this all that knowledge of the scripture <laughs> it's going to kill you <laughs> leave it alone just leave it alone don't rush and to try to get to the point where the pastor said and his beloved wife and their family and everybody behind the ministry where they have paid a price. I, I, I just, let me tell you something. I, I weep, I cry, I, I, I sometimes get hurt when I just hear people very condescending and speaking about their fellow brothers and sisters. Like you cannot be there tomorrow. You better watch yourself. And in this day, I'm here to tell you, okay, that God is good. That God is good. And in 2012, let's continue fellowship. One another. Let's continue giving what we have. And I want what you have. And together, we can make it a better place. Together, we can make it a better place. 
How many could put a round of applause to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit of God? How many could praise him? Thank you, Pastor. Thank mm -hmm. you.